Yellow. Hey everyone, welcome back to another cleaning video. So today I'm starting off in the living room. I've got my hot soapy water bucket and rag. Son is down for a nap. I am going to go through his toys as quickly and efficiently as possible while he is napping. I really have been just wanting to get these nice and wiped down and sanitized. So that is what I'm going to start doing here. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you're cleaning right alongside with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bad little flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the morning one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. You never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck I know it's all love Everything good Keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all So this black storage bin I got from Burlington a while back for $15, I believe, and it's been holding up well. Like it does kind of sag, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, what do you want for 15 bucks? So I do keep Sun's all of his toys here and you know, it's, this is the living room. So this is where we spend the majority of our time. So I just keep it down here and I really try to confine all his toys to just this bin. I try to make sure that his toys and things just don't get out of control, you know? Um, I like to go through them often and I will get rid of, well, when I, when I say get rid of, I mean donate, I'll donate them to Goodwill, toys that are in good working condition, toys that he has outgrown or no longer plays with, and also, um, his birthday is coming up and so I know more than likely he will probably, you know, just get some gifts and toys and things like that from family. So that's another thing that I'm kind of like just prepping for. But this is something that I just, I really enjoy doing. I don't like having an abundance of things. I, um, I just, I, I don't, that's just the way that I am. I really enjoy it. I like, it's just, it gives me a lot of peace of mind you know, just controlling like the amount of stuff that we have that he has and, you know, and things like that. And that's not to say like that we don't buy our son things. Um, we definitely do, but I would just much rather, you know, um, you know, spend money on experiences and things like that. So I'm going through everything and I'm just really wiping it down really well and kind of just like, this is an example right here. Like he has like one, two, three, four, I think this was like, he had four balls here. And then I know that we have, I think we have a couple in the car as well. Like I did end up getting rid of a couple of balls cause it's just, why does he need six, seven balls? You know what I mean? So 
um, I'm going through everything, like I said, and I'm just like really wiping them down as much as I can. A lot of the toys and things they do like light up or play music or something, you know, so it's, it would be a lot easier if I could just throw the things like in the bathtub. And I will do that like with his loose, like cars and things, you know, um, such an easy way to disinfect kids toys, just fill up a bathtub with hot soapy water, maybe throw some pine saw or whatever your favorite, um, uh, disinfectant and just let it soak for a little bit and put it on like let them dry on like an old towel or something and you're good to go but like I said I'm just wiping everything down um, as quickly as possible I tried to and I was successful in getting all this done before he got up from his nap and as you saw I did get rid of a lot of his crayons because a lot of them were cracked and I'll do that often as well. Like we'll tape them because he likes taping them, but that's not something like, you know, I just, I buy more at the Dollar Tree or Walmart or whatever. And it's like a dollar for a huge pack of them. So it's not a big deal, but definitely just, um, just getting things minimized and cleaned and, and declutter, you know, decluttering. And it was just a really good feeling.
at how dirty this water is. Like I was just, this, this is gross, <laughs> first of all, but it just goes to show you the things that you don't really clean, you know, like on a daily basis, every day, how dirty things get. And this just made me think of like kids in school, you know, especially daycare. That's why kids are always getting sick all the time. You know, I know that they have a cleaning crew and they have, you know, people that come and vacuum, maybe like wipe down things. But if you really think about the stuff that kids use and touch on a daily basis, toys and crayons and markers and everything else and, and them sharing. It's like, do they really wipe that stuff down? You know, it just, yeah, I just, I thought that was kind of gross. But anyways, his, that car too, the little um, truck that you saw me wipe down, I don't know what it is. So that is motorized. And he also has a motorized, like a big Jeep that he got for his birthday last year. And that's in the garage. He can't really reach the pedals. Last time we tried to have him on it, we'll have to have him try it again. And he's also scared of it also. I don't know what it is about that small blue car. He doesn't like turning it on anymore. Like it's, it's motorized and it goes and he can reach it well, but he likes to sit on it and like put his feet on the ground and like push himself throughout the house. So I'm just like, all right, buddy, like whatever you want to do, you know, I just, I thought that was funny, but Anyway, so now it is the next morning and I am going to get this bathroom nice and deep cleaned. I watered all of the plants yesterday and I kind of just let them um, drain in the bathtub. And these are my orchids. Some of them do look a little bit rough, but I know that they'll bounce back. They have looked even worse before. So I am, I'm glad I let those drain overnight so that they had, they had a really good drink. So now I'm going to get this tub nice and cleaned and scrubbed down. And this was just, it, it's always a good feeling when you get things done. You held me back when I tried to move on from your life. So you stole my life with clarity. So hold me back, now you're here. Cause I'm mad, show no fear. Wanna let you know just how it feels. One thing we have been staying on top of to have our shower doors stay like clear and not have a bunch of soaps come on them is squeegeeing them with our handy dandy dollar twenty five dollar tree special squeegee. I'm telling you guys, those blue and white squeegees, 
definitely pick, your, pick yourself up one. As you can see, I just removed it from our little cubby here. We just keep it in the shower and you can see even before I sprayed the, um, the scrub wash that the doors were pretty clear. They, it works really well. So after every shower, just squeegee, uh, squeegee your glass and it will really help keep it clean and uh, free of debris. I have been thinking about painting the silver framing of the shower black to kind of match the rugs. I'm not sure. I've just been like going back and forth and really haven't made a decision. But one thing I definitely want to do is I'm going to redo the countertops. I have done them a couple of times if you've been here for a while. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I think this time I'm going, I'm going to do a white base and then maybe sprinkle in some, um, some black may potentially some gray, but I'm not really sure. So I've had the surface black and then I tried doing like, um, some, um, what is it? Glitter didn't come out right. <laughs> and then I also, I, so I painted over it again, black, and then I kind of did like a marble ish, not marble. Yeah. Marble ish, no granite ish effect. And I didn't really like, I mean, I didn't really like the way it came out either. So um, I think what I'm going to do this time, what I'm going to do differently is I'm going to get like a piece of paper and do a couple of different designs on paper first. That way I don't keep on making like, you know, the same mistake, like, or keep having to redo the countertop if you know what I mean. So then that way I have, I kind of have like a template of what I'm going to do, but yeah, that's definitely in the works. So now I am just scrubbing away at the shower bottom here, the shower pan, the shower floor, and I absolutely love the scrubbing bubbles. I do think that it works well, but I also think that it works well when you spray it and let it sit first. So yeah, definitely do that. Don't be in a rush like I was and just scrub it right away.
I was doing laundry in between getting things done and I, you know, this was ready to be hung up. So I came downstairs and started doing that. And also I was trying to get sundown. So usually what I'll do is I know when he starts getting sleepy, I'll turn everything off. Like I'll turn the TV off. And if he's watching his little show, I'll turn that off. And he's kind of just chilling for a little bit. He'll play with his toys and then he'll be like, okay, I'm ready. So that's kind of what I was doing here. I just had everything off and I wanted to get the laundry nice and folded and put up and yeah. Definitely gonna go back up into the bathroom and get that done, but I did, after I was done with folding the clothes, I did get him down for a nap, so that was good. Can't we reach? Just 
discover, baby, what it was Well, let's be honest, it was just a lover You were so romantic, we were picture perfect So much freaking passion, why we never got it back, baby It was just a love bomb Really wish you didn't push me away I was willing to try long as it takes I would never say we were a mistake But fleeting romance doesn't a lifetime make That initial play All the goosebumps Those letters in my gut Y'all, these rugs are too thick for the vacuum. I have tried several times and it's just, it's not going to happen. Every time I try to vacuum them, it vac literally sucks up the rug. So in the meantime, this is how I will be cleaning them off. I'll just be using the lint rollers until I can find another solution, which I don't even know what that will be. But <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. The bathroom is nice and cleaned. It smells amazing in here. If you are new, hey. I hope that you consider subscribing for all things cleaning content. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you. Thank you guys so much for being here. I can't even tell you guys how much it means to me. Like it's, it's amazing. Hopefully this gave you guys a ton of motivation to get started on your space, to clean your bathroom or whatever it is you need to get done. Again, thank you so much for being here. I will definitely, definitely see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>